proportionality theorem. Now, this is our grade 12 theorem where we have to prove that AB over BC equals to AE over ED. Please understand, the examiner could use different letters, could use AB over AC, A, they're all AE over AD. You know all of that. But this is what I will tell you. This here will always represent the base of your triangles. And you're going to work with the area. So understand the proof rather than cramming it. We are going to be talking about the base. The, so we're talking about four different what triangles. And before you start, we need to do a construction as well. We are going to have to construct um, a height. So let's construct a height, which is, now remember I said AB would be, let's make that thicker. AB is the base. So from the base to the vertex would be the first um, height. And then BC is also um, another base, but extended base, we have to construct that, okay? And your height is always perpendicular. So let's call this H1, and let's call this H2. I'm gonna trace as I prove construction. All right? Um, join or construct, construct height, H1 and H2. Check what I'm going to do now. I am going to go back to my question and use those as my base. What do I mean? AB is a base. Where's the vertex? E. So I am considering that triangle. I hope that makes sense. A, B, E. So I am going to use area. All right. Area of triangle A, B, E. E over the area of triangle. Again, let's go through. What is my, my question says BC. Use that as your base and that your vertex there. All right, so BCE, that's your triangle, BCE. And that's very simple. Already, those are your bases. Half, what's your base? Just bring that letter in. And what is the height? Come in here and let's see. That is ABO. So we are working with height H1. That's how to make life easy. Same thing here because we have the same base. Half what? BC and H1. Your half and half will cancel H and H1. So what are we left with? We're left with AB over BC. Do you see the trick there? We go to the second part. Area of triangle. Um, I'm now working with AE. My vertex would be what? B. A, E, B over the area of triangle. Same, my base again. E, D. Same vertex. Oh, this becomes half. Your A, E is already your base. Now, if A, E is the base, where is my height? So I have A, B. My height is what? H2. That's how we make life easy. H2. Just understand the system. This is your ED, which is the base as well. H2O, so what's your answer? AE, already you are halfway done. Your next job will be to prove that this triangle and this tri the numerators have the same what? Area, and the denominators have the same area. Let's look at the numerators, just to make a note here. Numerators. So area of triangle A, B, E is the same as area of area of triangle what? A, E, B. We're talking about the same triangle. Oh, somebody says how? Let's quickly check. It says A, B, E. That's the triangle. And A, E, B. Oops, same thing. So the area will not be different. Our job is now to look at the denominator. Let's check. Now, area of triangle BCE must also be equal to the area of triangle EDB. Let's go check that. That's where we need to do a bit of work. All right. We're looking at, oh, let's construct that triangle. Let's show that triangle. Um, use a green one. There we go. 
That's why we have those two lines because we're talking about a triangle there. Now, look at this. Look at this triangle. This is what we're looking at. Sweet. And we're looking at this other triangle. Do you notice something? That they have the same base. Let me do that again quickly because of time. Okay. Check the first triangle. And check the second triangle. Oh, what do you notice? They have the same base BE. Now, because these two lines are parallel, I'm just going to do something for you here. All right? You don't need to show this, but check this. That is a height. Oh, sweet. They have the same height. Because a lot of learners just don't understand why these heights are the same. Look, you, that's the same height there. Because they are bounded between parallel lines. Oh, so their areas are equal because it's half base times height. So I'm going to say what? Um, common base, because they have the same base. Common base and what? Equal height. Sweet. Now that the areas of the numerators are the same, areas of denominators are the same, we can equate those two. Therefore, I'll say, okay, space, area of triangle ABE over area of triangle BCE should therefore, because the ratios are the same, our numerators are the same, AEB, and our denominators are the same, area of triangle EDB. Oh, what do we have? We got this answer here as AB over BC, and we got this answer as AE over ED. We're done. That is six marks for you. It doesn't matter what the examiner gives you here. You work that as your base. The rest will just be the same process, the same steps. Join, show your constructions, and you're fine. Proportionality theorem is six marks in the bag.